Oh my God. Time to eat. Time to make my drink first. Let's have a little bit of brown sugar in here. This is my favorite uh, whiskey. This is Buffalo Trace. Literally one of my favorites. I'm just gonna do some straight whiskey today with a little bit of sugar, just a few dashes of the bitters. This is like an aromatic bitter. This is an orange bitter. There you go. So I like, I like my whiskey kind of sweet. It's got the ice now. Wow, amazing. Gotta have these guys. Mmm. Mmm. Onion rings, I swear. Literally my favorite. I think they're better than fries, to be honest with you. Mmm. This is legit food that I've been craving for the last two weeks since I was gone on that vacation. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Some delicious banchan chicken. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This is hitting the spot, man. I always want to dip. So perfect. Oh, it is a warm day today. It's been warm, my God.
My dog heard fireworks. She does not like fireworks. Are you okay? Are you okay? So, some of you guys don't know, I was actually on vacation. I was in Iceland for the past two weeks. Let's just let her finish her little water mukbang over there. Anyway, I was saying, uh, so I was in Iceland for um, the past two weeks. It was amazing, it was incredible. Um, but, I mean, it was a lot of planning too. So, you know, the whole month of not being active on YouTube, I was just trying to get all that shit together. I mean, I was literally camping all around Iceland the first week. And the second week, I had to plan to be in Reykjavik you know, getting the Airbnb and all that good stuff, but the camping, I think, was required the most time, I guess, because I had to be, I had to be basically as detailed as possible, especially if you're dealing with a company, um, I'm sorry, I rented a van, uh, like a company camping van or whatever. So important to have communication and follow-up. So, like, basically every little detail that you can think of, I had to make sure. Because I wanted everything to go smoothly, right? Because if you're spending that long in another country, everything has to be right. Like, I didn't want to make any mistakes, especially when we're that far away from home, you know? But it was amazing, it was incredible. But here's the thing, it's like, you know, I yes, I have been gone for a whole month, and I wasn't active on YouTube. But it's, I mean, I can't necessarily say that it's because, just because of the planning, right? I mean, sure, it takes a lot of work, but it shouldn't take that long, you know, and it shouldn't be that overwhelming for me to have disappeared for like a month and a half, you know? I mean, to be honest, I was just feeling pretty shitty last month. Like, I was experiencing some sort of sadness. Like, I can't even explain it. And it's not like depression or anything because, I mean, I know what depression is. I live with, I don't personally live with depression, but I, I live with someone who is depressed. So I understand what that is, but... And I don't like to throw around that word so lightly, you know, a lot of people go, I'm so depressed, I'm so depressed, but really they're not, you know, you're, you're making light of, you know, like a mental uh, disability that someone has, and that's, that's not okay. Um, you don't even know the half of it. But I'm not depressed, I just oftentimes feel like bouts of sadness, and I... Like, I almost can't even explain it. Like, it just happens. And it just happened to be last month. And I just... I'm still kind of feeling the residual effects of it today. At this moment. I mean, I have more motivation. Obviously, you can see that I'm filming. Hmm.
my neighbor, I think celebrating his birthday, like two days in a row. This is the second day, so if you hear them, that's them. I seriously was craving this the whole entire time I was in Iceland. And I told some of you guys that I wasn't a huge fan of their food. You know, it's, there was great food. We had great, delicious, like authentic fish meals and entrees, lamb, you know, all that good stuff. But you'd have to pay like a good amount just to get those kind of like fine dining, right? So, um, but for like the average price foods, I mean, hot dogs, hamburgers, I can get that at home. It's just not, I wanted, I freaking wanted Korean fried chicken so bad. And I kept on mentioning how I wanted onion rings and I could not find onion rings there. Like no one was serving them. So this is just kind of a mumble jumble of random things I was craving while I was away, away from America. The place that has really bad food for you. Mm. I don't know, like I feel like it's something that I don't like to admit sometimes. Sometimes, I mean, that I'm like unhappy. You know, I, I it's, it just doesn't come out of my mouth and you know, I've, I've still been active, like active in my social life. Like I'm still going out and seeing people, but I just feel like even if I did say something about it, you know, that I'm just feeling sad. Like, I don't know why I feel sad. I just do. Oftentimes, you know, people want a specific reason, right? You have to give it to them. They're going to ask you like, what exactly is wrong? Maybe I can help you. You know, do you like... Is it something about your family? Is it something about your relationship? Like what's going on? And uh, sometimes I just, I don't really have a real answer because I just am, I just am sad. Like I don't, I can't explain it. I don't know if anyone else experiences that, but I just have moments where I just go, God, just everything fucking sucks. Like, oh, that was, the... and it starts to become like a snow snowball effect, right? Like one thing will agitate you or make you sad or angry and then something else happens even as small as it is as it is it's kind of a snowball effect it just ends up pissing you off even more and it just keeps on going going and going and it's just like at the end of the day you're just oh like i felt like i was ex experiencing that like way too many days in the week and it was just starting to get really crazy for me you know, I mean, I, I know that there's a lot of shit going on around me and in the world, but damn, like at that moment though, I'm just this sad motherfucker. Like I just do not know what's going on, you know, almost like to the point of like, I look in the mirror and I go like, I hate you. Like you're stupid. Like I don't, I don't like you. I don't, you haven't accomplished anything, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's just a sad, sad feeling. So that was me, like literally, the last month. And it would be a nice excuse to say that, sure, I was planning this whole trip and that's why I left, but no, I was just like, I was just feeling sad. I was feeling down. I don't... Hmm. Hmm. Mm. So perfect.
and also too, I don't know if you've experienced this, like have you ever like felt some way where even if you were seeking advice and talk to your friends or your family about it, like you don't necessarily want any advice and you kind of just want them to listen to you because at the end of the day, you kind of just know what's going on and you know it almost can't be helped. Like almost as if you're the on only one that can help yourself and no one else can, even if they tell you to stay positive and you know, tell you that everything is going to be fine. Of course it's going to be fine. It's, it's not, it's not the end of the world. If I feel like that, or if you're feeling like that, that sadness, you know, it's not, but I think for me, you know, if I was at least in the last month or so, the people I've been talking to, it's just about, just about talking and letting them hear me out. You know, that's all I want, really. I don't, of course I know what to do. Maybe. I don't know. I, apparently I don't because I would have figured it out, but I think I can and will figure it out on my own. I just, I, I guess I need someone just to listen, right? But people naturally, I mean, if you tell, like, I'm telling you right now, and I think maybe some of you are thinking, you'll be fine, don't worry, stay positive, smile, you know, tomorrow's gonna be a better day. I totally get that. And I have a, I have an opinion on that, by the way, but I'll tell you in just a moment. But, I don't know, I think it's just always nice, right, for someone to, to listen to you. That's what I need. This is nice, just saying it, you know? It's just weird to hear myself say like, oh, you know, I'm just unhappy at the moment because because people expect you to have a reason to be, you know, they want to know exactly why you're unhappy. You just can't be unhappy. You ha There has to be a reason why. And sometimes there just isn't a reason why. I mean, can my answer just be like, it's everything, everything's causing it, like, This is truly a diary entry right now. Mm. So good, really. It cannot be onion rings. Mm -mm. Take another sip. This is so good. And I love it when the ice actually melts because the whiskey doesn't taste as strong, which is fine. There's still the same amount of alcohol that I poured. Now it's just watered down, but I'm okay with that. It's whiskey. You can't get too f a fancy. And plus, the Buffalo Trace, I think, is a delicious. It's my favorite whiskey. Uh, No, but seriously, like, back to what I was saying regarding, um, you know, people telling you to be positive and all that stuff. I just feel like, in general, society puts such a bias towards positive thinking and behavior. Like, it's almost expected of you, right? And I used to get annoyed when people would tell me to just smile, be positive, everything's gonna be all right. Because I know that, of course everything's gonna be all right. Like, I'm, I'm a fortunate person, like I don't have, I don't, but 
personally, like when someone tells me to be positive, I just, I almost just go, it almost makes me kind of angry. I'm like, dude, just let me, if I'm gonna be angry, just let me be angry. If I'm gonna be sad, just let me be sad. Just let me experience all those emotions like a human being should, you know? Like, just let me soak in it. Just listen to me, you know? That's... <sighs> but really though, I mean, I don't know if it bothers you when someone tells you to be positive, and I get the intentions, and I understand that it's coming from a place of love, and, um... just care, you know? But sometimes it's just... It doesn't work. And I think that's the problem with society. It's like, we're so obsessed with being upbeat, happy, um, and just positive all the time. And I think that's, I think that's a problem. Like, I think that's not healthy for you mentally. I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's healthy to just expect everyone to behave like positive, upbeat people. Like, there's a downside to that. I know everyone always talks about the negative emotions, like anger, sadness, and all that shit, but like, do you realize that expecting someone to be happy and upbeat all the time, do you really think that's good for their, like, mental health? I always think about this, and I always go, why do people always expect others to be happy or to be... Positive. I hate that word. Like this, that's the word of this episode. Like positivity. I, it's great, but it's also the devil. Like I think it's the devil too. Let me tell you something. You do not need to always be positive. Like don't let anybody tell you that you need to always be positive because the moment that you hear that, you're going to feed into that shit and you're going to act positive. Even though you're not feeling positive, you're just going to act that way just because that's what's expected of you. That's what's going to make the world go round, right? I don't think it works that way. Because you're, you experiencing anger and sadness and all that bullshit, like, you shouldn't be feeling that way. Why? Because it's too gloomy, it's too dark, it's too real, and it's too fucking deep. <sighs> no, let me. Let us. Like, let us just be sad for a moment and just say that we're fucking sad and that we're angry. Even if there's no fucking real reason. You know, like, drives me insane. Drives me crazy. You never think about what a person has to go through just to be positive for someone else, you know? Just to fit in. Like, it's so annoying. I'm like getting heated. <laughs> Sorry. But really, that's been brewing in my head a lot, you know? Honestly, to me, a beautiful person is a person that can express all their emotions. And I'm talking about the darkest emotions. I'm talking about, like, please experience jealousy. Tell me that you've um, hated someone or, you know, or experienced, like, really deep sadness. Like, those are beautiful things. And I think that's, that is so important for your well-being. It just is. I mean... Don't ever sweep that shit under the rug. If you're feeling a certain way and if those are your, your emotions, please feel them. Show me your jealous rage. The only time those things come become a problem is when you can't... When you're not able to... How do you say? Accept that you're feeling that way or experiencing those emotions or realize or being able to assess the situation because if you're blindly experiencing those emotions that's when you have no control like you have no control over it but let me take a break from this conversation it's starting to eat me up
I say just be, to be in control of your emotions is to know that you're experiencing them and to be able to talk about them openly, you know? Like for me to say that I've been unhappy the last month is not, I don't think it's super easy because I, I haven't told everyone, you know, I haven't told every single friend, you know, I just kind of slowly open up about it. But to say it out loud is so therapeutic and it's so powerful just to fucking say it, just let it out, just But it's not going to last forever. It's just one of those things that you experience. But to sum it all up, you know, I, I was just kind of really down at that time. And it's going to happen, you know, it's going to happen. Maybe it's going to happen even more as an adult, you know, as a, a real, a real working adult, you know, so it's fine. But I think that if you can tell me that you've experienced this, I think that would make me feel good too. I'm not asking for help really, but I just need you to listen. That's all. That's why I'm, I'm recording this. That's why I'm making this. That's why that's, this is how we're communicating. You know, this is how you're giving me or giving back to me at least. Just listen. Like I don't need anything else. I'll be fine. It's not, I'm not as broken as this onion, onion ring here. Hmm, so good. Like, I straight up got Lifetime Original Movie on you. I didn't mean for that to happen, but I think that... I just had to let that out, you know? Like, I could have lied to you and just said that it was all because of, you know, which I started to work, by the way. I started working again. But, I mean, that was the reason why I was busy, too. But when you start to feel like you're not motivated to do the things you enjoy most, which is this, you know, filming, it's a hobby, all that good stuff. When you start not wanting to, you know, enjoy your hobbies, anything, really, anything that you enjoy, that's when you kind of just feel like, dang, like, what's going on? Like, Who knows, you know? <sighs> anyway, I mean, just to sum it all up, I'll be fine. It's just, let me be, I'll let you be, as long as you're okay and that you know how to take care of yourself and that you're a strong person, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. If you need someone to listen to you and that's it, that's cool too. Because come on, when we're looking for advice, are we really looking for advice? I feel like we're just, it's like we're just asking for someone's, I don't know, like reassurance or something. Like you just, you know what you're gonna decide, like do. You know what decision you're gonna make. You just kind of want to hear someone else agree with you. I think that's, sometimes I think that's what advice is all about, but I think that's fine, you know, whatever. But I think to be a beautiful person, I think for you to really, I guess I'm attracted to people who are very open. I mean, please experience all those emotions. I, I mean it, I think it'll make you a very attractive person. Like you have to be able to talk about all those things. Just tell people, tell people that you're, you can be a jealous freak sometimes. Like that's just who you are. Cause I think people then can trust you. Right? The fact that you open up like that, you could say something so deep and dark. Maybe not to everyone, but to you, it's like your darkest secret. Your insecurity, right? But if you say it, 
people will feel very comfortable around you. I know it doesn't sound like, it doesn't make any sense. It does, it, it, it doesn't sound like that's the truth, but it is. I find that if the more open you are, the more people will trust you. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. Well, it's been a long one, baby, but thank you for watching and thank you for listening. I appreciate it. I really do. I'll be fine. You know, it's going to happen. I'm just thankful to have you, I guess, and your patience, by the way. But anyways, I'll see you guys soon, okay? Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed the food as much as the topic. I think the topic is so important to me. But you're the coolest. Thanks for listening. Love you. Bye.